One on one bitch at 18. One on one never again. One on one. get the kick in the butter. I count it like hustle the money all in. Rhyme in the town in the drop top coupe in the mud in the trunk you can hear. Hearing all about how they want me to lose, but I'm W do for a win. Fucking on this bitch in the fudge, you don't have any snow money, pull up a lid. All right, guys, check this out. This is going to be an exciting one for you. What we're going to show you today is three things that I guarantee will change your life. And that's what our customers are experiencing right now, our clients, our friends, our family. Look around. When you see an experience like this, I've been talking to you on this whole video, three things will change your life. Number one, experiences. When you have an experience like this, man, it starts to just get your mind creative. It starts to get you hungry, man. You're like, dude, you think you've done something? And then the guy cruises by with a yacht that's three times the size of yours. You're like, shit, man, I got work to do, okay? And then number two, you have to have the right people around you. So you got three things, the right people, the right information. And when you have the right information, that's the third thing, then you, you can make everything possible. So you got to have the right experiences. You got to have the right people and you got to have the right information. Those three things will change your entire life, your entire ecosystem. Guys, we got nine figure business owners on this yacht right now. We got people that have flown all the way from Croatia, Belgium, Russia, Australia, Turkey. I mean, we got people everywhere, right? So there's people that know things that you don't know. As I'm sitting up here talking to one of the guys that's a big deal here in Dubai, I'm sitting here talking to him and he's teaching me things that I've never even thought about yet. And I'm going to tell you, when that happens to you, and you're in an inspirational place and you guys have heard me say this inspirational things happen in inspirational places you receive information that can change your next 10 years in one conversation your next 10 years it's called strategy when you get a little piece of a strategy it's like a little piece of a missing puzzle to your puzzle piece right so you get that little puzzle piece it could change the next 10 years because you have that puzzle piece so i want you guys to see the boat i want you guys to imagine yourselves being here and i want you guys to never stop dreaming big the whole world's going to try to get you to conform the whole world's going to get you to try to stop dreaming stop thinking big and they're going to want to fit your ass in a little tiny baby box that box get outside of that box and don't live in that box everything is possible no matter what they tell you and if you follow what i just said those three pieces of information right information right experiences and right people you'll change your life forever so let's go around here and let's go see what we got man i'm gonna give you guys a little tour let's go all right guys i'm down here with ali ali is one of the top salespeople. he broke the record for revenue in our company like the third month that he was here so i want him to give you a couple tips and also this dubai trip that you're seeing he came to me i remember he came to me like 11 months ago and he was saying these things and man he was thinking so big that honestly it was pissing me off a little bit i was like man i need to be thinking about this man he's like i want to go to the middle east i want to do this we're gonna have a yacht we're gonna do this but guys those are the salespeople that win the salespeople that are the most creative that think the biggest that they're the hungriest he came into one of the most competitive environments and he kicked a lot of ass like he shook our company up because he was so freaking crazy and i loved it man because i was sitting back and i was just like that's what we need man Man. So Ali, if you're a lower producer or you're a lower frequency salesperson or you're a guy that wants to be a top dog, how do you think so big? Because your number one talent that I've watched you do so often in our company, your number one talent is you think big, bro. Like you always think big. You literally organized this entire thing, made this entire thing happen. Like, look, we're on the end of a cruise ship. 11 months ago, I thought you had lost your goddamn mind a little bit. I'm just saying, I don't know if I can even say that in the Middle East. I thought you lost your damn mind because it was so crazy, but that's what's made you ultimately very successful and a seven figure earner in our company so how do you do that well number one everybody called me crazy and uh i believe that there's one word it's called belief mm -hmm. and the only way to have belief is to respect yourself mm -hmm. the only way to respect yourself is by getting shit done mm -hmm. and the only way to get shit done is by not being motivated but being disciplined there's a massive difference people get motivated they say shit, they don't do them you gotta have a plan of action you gotta take action and you have to disconnect your feelings from your actions i don't care whether or not you're tired i don't care whether or not you're in a good mood it does not matter when always do the work you do the work yep. no matter what so if you apply this to the world i come from a uh, fighting background martial arts was everything to me so i try to translate what, what i learned in martial arts to the business and uh, that's how i've been able to be successful dude i love that and you know i've seen him be a extremely disciplined salesperson i think what he's saying is so like it's it might sound so simple but if you really understand like being a disciplined salesperson being disciplined in your life he's saying like he has that respect for himself so it allows his brain to say that shit's for me dude that shit's for
for me, dude. And when you have belief in yourself, that's just unshakable, almost unreal. Like, like there's certain salespeople that have that unshakable, unreal belief. The higher you're going to go in life, the more you're going to need, the more belief that you're going to need. Like if you're an average sale, you, salesperson, you have this average belief. When you're a game changing salesperson like him, you got this level of belief. When you're a salesperson that's changing the world, like an Andy Elliott, like just look at anybody, dude. Look at Donald Trump. He's a salesperson. Look at Martin Luther King, salesperson. All these guys that are so freaking giant that change the world through belief and through persuasion and uh, through believing in who they are, right? 100%. And so I'm telling you, man, you got you might not even think that those are salespeople, but they are, man. Elon Musk, all those guys, like they respect themselves Everybody. and they think big like that. And that's been your number one, you know, thing that you that I see you have. 100%. Everything is sales, guys. And if you think that, listen, if you want to be in the game for 10, 15, 20 years, uh, you're going to have to operate this way. If you yeah. want to be a flash in the pan, you're going to be in and out uh, like most people. Listen, we see people coming on on social media every single day. They disappear two years later. We don't know who the heck they are. But the guy is like, he just said Donald Trump. Do you guys realize Donald Trump is freaking 70 plus years old? Mm -hmm. Like, why does he have to go through all of this shit? Whether you like him or not, you got to respect him he's a dude that gets shit done and when he wants Thinks something big. he goes after it thinks outside the box and who would ever thought that a guy like him would be president of the freaking united states of freaking america totally dude and he said goes after it see i even called him crazy and so he started with that and i'm gonna end with this you know a lot of the times even your friends are gonna call you crazy a little bit right and like Honestly, he, I watched him just put his head down, didn't talk to a whole lot about this plan that he had because maybe even close people like me were maybe just been like, hey bro, it's a little too much. Like, I don't know, man. But what he did was he figured out a way he didn't need a whole lot of motivation from other people. He didn't need a whole lot of buy-in from other people. He organized a business plan. He kept it close to his heart till he had it ready to announce to everybody. And then he said, hey, you coming with me or not, I'm doing it. So you gotta be able to do that. I wanna finish with this. One last thing. I want you guys to understand something. When you decide you're gonna do something big in life, you're gonna feel lonely at some point. Totally. There's no way for you to go through that route of success without feeling lonely. But you have to be okay with that. I always yep. tell people, you gotta be a lone wolf for a while before you can build your wolf back. Because mm -hmm. when you decide to do something big in life everybody around you they're all going to disappear you're not going to be there and because you're not the person that you're already supposed to be you're not going to have these people around you so what you need to do is put your head down just like he said I went dark I didn't communicate much but I was taking actions yeah. behind the scene in the dark sleepless nights I was taking actions but here's the biggest thing eventually you start attracting the people that think like you. Mm -hmm. And look where we're at now. Totally. With Andy Elliott, with these guys, the Macklin twins taking over the freaking Middle East because we're going worldwide, baby. I love that, dude. And here's what I know is going to happen. When you do something like this, it's like a balloon expanding. Like a balloon, it can never go back to the same. Like it looks kind of funky, you know, once it's expanded outside of its natural freaking environment. Ali has now done something and you find new evidence that you're a new person. If you want to change your identity as a salesperson, you have to have new experiences. You have to have new information and you have to have new people around you. And when you do something crazy, like let's say you set a record, you say, hey, I'm going to sell 30 cars and you do 30 cars and you're a 15 car salesman. I'm just going to give you a basic example. You don't, you, you start to become a new person because you get new evidence from the market that you did it. And when you do it and he does something like this, imagine what's next. Like imagine the belief that you earn when you actually complete a big ass task that changes your life. So everybody's capable. He's a freaking human. He's, he's a, he's, he's a superhuman, but he's a freaking human. He's kind of a robot. He's a badass robot. I'm proud of him. He's a great friend of mine. I love him. And uh, you know, he's consistently leveling us up and you need players like this in your company around you and it will change the game. So let's go. Grateful for you. All right, guys, we're at the top of the ship. This is where they run it. Check this whole freaking thing out look at this man the palm jeremiah i think that's how you say it the burge down here all of this cool stuff dude we don't even have a captain this boat's on autopilot dude i don't even know who's driving it dude you know what i'm saying let's go come on down here guys this is the living room this is one of three living rooms on this boat check this out come on over here come on over back here here's the back side of the boat we got dinner out here look at that Woo! we're about to jump in the water back down there you got some staircases up there. Look at this, look at this, look at this. That's the biggest Ferris wheel in the world, dude. You know, you got like the London Eye, you got the one in Las Vegas. This thing's like three times the size of it. Thing's freaking crazy. Like the way that they've constructed these buildings and I mean, it's six times bigger than New York, dude. So it's like, you have to imagine like you're seeing all these buildings, but there's neighborhoods 
that are just sprawling everywhere, that are coming up everywhere because a lot of these people have to work in these buildings that don't live there. So the infrastructure is crazy. The highway system, crazy. Like all of it just wild, man. Coming this way. All right, guys, so this is a five bedroom yacht. So there's a downstairs right here, but let's go in the master bedroom, dude. This is my room. You can see the closet, you know, you got the bed right here. Come on, let's go. This is where I'm sleeping tonight, baby. All right, come on. Come on, check this out. This is the shitter. This is the nicest shitter you've ever seen on a boat, dude. Check this out. I got a shower. I got a shower. I got a shitter. What else do I need? I, I don't need nothing, bro. I ain't leaving. I'm not leaving here, dude. Look at this, dude. We got a bidet little deal down there. It cleans your butthole. We got the whole deal, dude. This is freaking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Guys, these are a couple car salesmen that have put this shit kind of shit together. You know where we're going in life? Dude, you got to come with us, man. We're going far, man. We're not stopping. We're getting crazier day by day. We're getting bigger connections day by day. It's fun, man. When you're around the right people doing the right things, you can attract all the right things in your life. Success, it's not that hard. If you become the person and stop chasing the money, but chase becoming the man, stop trying to get rich and start trying to get good, man, it's crazy that these things just start to show up in your life. Like, you don't just have to go get them. Like, oh, I'm gonna go get this. It just typically pops up in the form of a deal, in the form of a handshake, in the form of, hey, I love what you do, I've seen what you do. Hey, I, it just pops up. So, a lot of the times, amateurs, they're just chasing success. Pros are attracting it. But you have to do that maybe over years of becoming that person and then it just shows up. Guys, we probably have $5 billion of net worth on this yacht right now. More. Most of it. More. He said more, more. dude. Probably. Maybe I'm thinking more. small. Maybe 10 billion. Okay. But some of the craziest things are happening here and most of it we just attracted. I didn't call none of these people. They found me on social media. They wanted to connect. They wanted to do big things. They're attracted to our message. You know, they see what you're doing. They want to roll with you, dude. Come on, dude. That's what big dogs do. Let's go. Come down to here. This is the downstairs. Look, here's another master bedroom. We got two master bedrooms down here, okay? And got closets over there, walk-in closet, double bathroom down there, double sinks, two little beds down here. Look at this. Hey, this is cozy. Look at this. Five bathrooms, five bedrooms, another one over here. Yeah, man. You feel me? Let's go, people. Just a kid from Denver, Colorado, creating his dreams, man and helping other people create theirs. That's the number one rule. If you can create your dreams and help other people get theirs, man, look at it, dude, look. Check this out. We got Wi-Fi on this freaking thing. All right, let's go back upstairs. Is that how you get to the front? See, look, Alex lost. He don't even I'm know how to get to the front. He's like, where's the front? Just go up there and then go out the door and then you can go right there. Right. So like, go up here and then take a right yeah. and then just oh, unscrew that door. You can, are you trying to get on the deck? What's it like a 15 minute walk or? Yeah, it's about a 10 minute walk. 10 minute walk? Yeah, 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 something like that. All right, cool. Yeah, you, to, you, hey, stuff. if you get lost, just, just yell, help, <laughs> help. People get lost around here, bro. I'm telling you, dude. Look at this big old guy, dude. This guy's from Denmark. This guy is the arm wrestling champion of the entire world. Can you guys believe that, dude? Look at him. He's eating 50 of those damn things. Like, we literally had to tell the chef to cut him off, bro, because he's getting crazy, dude. He's basically the Hulk Hogan of Denmark. You know, that's his twin brother, dude. I'm telling you, dude. It's just, he just doesn't, there's not a lot of sun out there, so he just doesn't get a tan like Hulk Hogan. But, I mean, when he comes to Arizona, he's gonna look just like Hulk Hogan, okay? Come check this out. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? This is the chill section, dude. I love this section. This is chill section. This is where we come to chill, baby. This is where we chill. This is the relaxing zone, man. This is where we just get our vibe on. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's a little small for my height, you know what I'm saying? But that's okay. You know, come on, let's go down here. Look, we got a little kitchen right down here. We got another room down here. And ba ba bada bing bada boom. We're right back in it. Here, we need to go upstairs one more. How do we get upstairs? Let's go this way. Okay, we're going upstairs. We, we got lost, bro. We've been getting lost everywhere. What's up, little man? Where do we go to get upstairs? All right. Oh, there's the boys. All right, guys, so now I'm with my boys. Look, at, look, come over here, come over here, come over here. I'm with the gangs of London. All right, guys, they said that I got a, hey, they said that I got an accent, okay? They're like, dude, I love your accent. I'm like, fuck are you talking about? You guys have the accents. They're like, bro, you sound like you're in the movies. I'm like, I don't dude, understand you. What are you saying? Mama, they said that we have accents. Mama, they said we got accents and we sound like we're in the movies. You do have an accent. No, yours is way more exaggerated. What are you talking about? Country boy. They, but 
but they said they, they got the accents. I'm like, dude, I have no clue. Need to go. Huh? Y'all. Guys. All right. Guys. Who has that? Let's chug a beer. Let's chug a beer. They said I sound like a frat boy. They said I sound like a frat boy. All right, guys. Can you guys give the followers a couple of tips, a couple of things that you guys may have learned, a couple of things that you're going to do? Just give them something for a little 30 second tips. Like, what can they do to implement something that we've learned in our life through this trip? What do you think? Or what, one and, then thing we'll go, and then we'll go with your Australian counterpart, brother. 100%. Even though he's not, he's from London, but he's from Australia. I don't yeah. know how uh, all that shit he works. He lives in the middle, somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle, dude. Whatever. Right. De definitely, definitely continuously growing, reinventing yourself continuously. Yep. Understanding the importance of communication of sales and how that's based in every single thing that you do in life. 100%. Everyone's a salesman. That's the point that Andy makes all the time. Yep. Whether you're selling your kids to go to bed, yep. whether you're selling a deal, wherever it is, you're in sales. 100%. So learn how to communicate. Number one, reinventing yourself continuously. Never being the same person day by day. You're always growing. Love that. And then um, dream big. Once you get that bit, once you get the that's the, the this whole episode yourself. is called Dream Big. Yeah. Just you know that, bro. So, yeah. Your brother is smart, bro. Your brother is smart, dude. Hey, he's a lot smarter than he looks. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if hey. it's a compliment or not. All right, so look, check this out. These guys are both really successful. I want you guys to go follow them. Um, so you know, he's a professional football player. This guy's a really successful businessman. But when you were in football, what's one thing in mentality? that you learned that you had to be like to be at a level that you played at in the professional leagues and then drop yeah. them your Instagram. Bro, the, the main thing is why, why I'm like so aligned to you guys. Yeah. It's because everything is just mindset bro. totally it's like it's not even about skill set so much it's like mindset and then, then the skill comes yep so I, I never deemed myself as that talented when it comes to like other players they were more talented than me but I just like mindset bro just like obsession you outworked drive, them. you outworked, had that drive bro. that relentless and then from pursuit. there I got the belief and anybody can get that right that's 100%. not that's not unique to no, you no, no. you had to earn that 100%. through you know the work ethics and things like that and you also help people with that so they could reach out to you and get some help for that yeah yeah so and I, you're so a badass yeah so I coach now all the things I learned in my career, mindset, self mastery, discipline, fitness is what I teach entrepreneurs. And I bet you I can now. kick your ass in soccer, bro. Let's go. No, ready? Wait, Look, ready? Oh, oh, ready? Oh, I just got him. I just got, got him, bro. Did you see that? Oh, realize. you know, oh, dude, if I had a soccer ball, I'd fuck his ass up. What Let's fuck, go, what's baby. Soccer? Huh? What's soccer? What the fuck is soccer? That's what it is. Is you call that? What do you guys call it? Croquet or something? Football. Oh, football. Oh, football. 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 That's what we call it. Football. Hey, but y'all seen that? Shit. Hey, would have mixed his ass up, dude. Kick it through his legs and shit, dude. He's not ready, dude. He's not ready. I got a better mindset. Let's go. All right, where do they find you at? Uh, Instagram right now. YouTube is coming. Definitely inspired by my guy as well. He's gonna drop a Ian. YouTube video every day. We're, I'm gonna kick him in the face 100%. next time. I'm gonna football him in the face if he doesn't do it. I'm gonna say it's done this week. He's getting done. Where do they follow? On Instagram. Instagram, Kev Sure at 93. Good. You guys need to go find him. All right, now we got my man. All right, you got to go follow his podcast. He had Dan Bazarian last week, the Prince the week before. He's got everybody on his shit, dude. And he's a badass, dude. Super good guy. Andrew Tay, he's got everybody, man. Andy. 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 Oh, he had Andy today, too, bro. Let's go. All right, so what's some things that you could teach the audience that you think that they would that would be good for their life? Oh. How have you been able to do all of your businesses in Australia? And then how, like, what's one thing that you've had that's different than everybody else? Because Dude, you build an empire in Australia. Now you're building an empire in Dubai. You're 34 years old. Most people, dude, that we have following us, maybe some of them are 34 years old. They doubt themselves. They don't think that they can have it. How do you have it, dude? You're doing some legitimately cool ass shit. Your average day would be somebody's entire dream life day. So how do you start? And like, what's one thing that you've used to propel you to that? I appreciate your great memory, by the way. Yeah. And you're right, my, yeah. my, my days are insane. Sometimes I'm in bed and I go, fuck, I can't believe that it just happened. Yeah. The thing that makes me different from everyone else, I I feel or everyone around me is emotional intelligence. Love that. I can call my business partners right now and I've got 50 things I can go offer them for. You bought a G-Wagon with the company money, you didn't run it past me, blah, 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 right? The most important thing in a business is not the business, it's the business partnership the business you and I can do this together again maintain that relationship people go rich bankrupt rich bankrupt because they don't maintain relationships emotional intelligence watch your mouth good I love that hey you got some good stuff from my Australian London uh, British brothers I think it's the same I don't know if it's different it is but but ultimately they're there it's pretty much the same to me and I'm excited about these guys because dude just being around them man there you can tell they got some good hearts I've learned a lot from them he was teaching me some things about taxes out here and all these different things of the corporations. I'm like mind blown. Ways that you can get more rich because a lot of the times you got to learn how to keep the money and down here you can apparently keep money at a different level. But we'll talk about that another time. All right, guys, listen, I'm interrupting their conversation because Joey's just probably talking about some bullshit. Yeah, yeah Joey's usually talking about some bullshit. 
So anyways, but check this out. He runs Auto Giants in, uh, is it Virginia or is Virginia, it DC? Virginia. Whatever, it's all the same to me. Virginia, DC, whatever, dude. Kind of the same thing, right, Joey? Yeah, same it thing. Is, it is. And then it he is. runs, he's got a Mitsubishi, he's got a Mitsubishi dealership, and they've known of each other. And then so, minutes away. we were top competitors. They were top competitors. I met him here. He's the only guy that ever gave me any competition at all. Yeah, yeah. See? So like now these guys, are they were top competitors, but now they're friends. What's one thing each that you guys can give the audience that you took away from this weekend that you could say, hey man, that was one thing that I needed or one thing that reinforced something that I was already thinking? Like what's one thing that you can in your mind right now be like, that thing stood out a little bit more than everything. Maybe it's one thing that you guys have already been doing great and it's the reason why you guys are freaking ballers. Rolling around in Rolls Royces with hot wives, great freaking kids doing legendary shit. Okay, legendary what is people. it? Huh? Yeah. I mean, my top thing that I took away from it is, is you know, I wanted to come to Dubai, I wanted to taste of this action, I wanted to find a way in, right? And by coming here and spending this amount of time, here's my second time here, I was able to, just to see how receptive the people here in D Dubai are, and how they live up the traditional That's family true. values, and how they're faith-based, and how they value, you know, everybody's so safe and everything. So it really was just, the biggest takeaway for me was, is that even what I felt the first time I came here, now I've met people, I met, I met Adam, you know, he's going to help me out. Hopefully we'll be able to do some stuff together. You know, I met some other people. I made connections here, man. I made connections with people so you're that saying, I see. You're saying like people, one of the biggest things for you is the connections and absolutely, the people and the relationships. Absolutely, absolutely. So what have we been saying this whole video, guys? It's about like, I came down here for three things, right? When you're around the right people, the right information and the right experiences, it can change your life almost immediately, right? You know, because everything, money comes from relationships. Transactions come from relationships. Big things come from relationships. And Joey, I mean, that's why I've always valued you know him in my circle because he's all about relationships and he'll do anything to get in the room man joey told me one thing that i learned from him that was really good he said always show up with these three things respect value and money baby yeah, he's like you always show up with a lot of respect you always show up with a lot of value if you ain't got no money you better show up with extra of the two things come on baby joey batista quoted there all right adam what do you got to elaborate on connection basically when you think that you are crazy and you don't have you do not have the right people around you yeah. because i get that all the time like yeah. this guy too wild this yeah. guy too aggressive yeah. this guy's too people much your whole life. you do not have the right people around yeah. you so go out and find the right people that's that's what i that's oh, my yeah. take basically that, yeah. and then when you get around the right people it's like you find your tribe and it's like man and, and if you're with the crazy people and you run with the crazy people it's crazy how fast your life can even grow all the time. They always want to stop you. They always, no, no, that's too much. Why you want to do it? No, slow down. No, why are you going to Dubai? Yep. You got a business here. Everything's fine. Even my family, my yeah. mom. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. You live in your house. You live in your family, your yep. brother and every. I'm like, I have a vision. Yeah. You guys don't see it. I see it. Yep, dude. I, that's so true, man. And, um, and you know, a lot of times they don't even intentionally stop you, but they don't know Correct. like how these obsessed people are built. Like we might have what you might just be like, oh my God, like if I got that, I'd stop. Well, then you're probably not like, us because you get there and then you realize if your goal is to make five million your goal is to make ten you get there and you're like I want to go make 50 I want to go make a hundred I want to go do this I want to go do that and obsessed people they're always stirred up to hit this next level stirred up to hit this next year and leaders like this sometimes we feel lonely man because we're we're around some people that don't have these dreams so it fuels us to get in rooms like this what do you got obsessed people driven by accomplishments and yeah. I think that's what it is it's not the money anymore that's what people don't understand that's what they don't understand accomplishment for me what i accomplish is the money yep i love that man so you got two you got two badasses what you right. got for me it's the absolute pursuit of my personal best right it's a never-ending desire to actually see what can a guy like me do right like I, I already did every more than what i ever thought i would do so now i just keep getting in rooms like this just keeps growing and expanding and because now i see people doing more than what i'm doing and i see i'm like hey if they can do it i can do better right and if joey wasn't around me he definitely wouldn't be doing this shit so thank no, god he met me no, jesus put him god in I my life ian. ian macklin is the man this Good. guy's that's been what, a godsend for that's me that's all i that's all i needed joey i love you <laughs> you're my man dude. Let, all right let's go all right, check this out, guys. Look, look at, look at this, man. We got people just out here having a good old time. Look at these guys are having a blast, man. We got ass cheeks all out there and all kinds of stuff, man. I'm married. I gotta get out of here. All right, guys. So you saw the boat. You saw kind of what we're doing. You guys have been along this journey, but that's not it yet. We still have a couple more days, and we're gonna bring you along with us everywhere we go. So you're learning along in this channel, but this isn't even it just yet. So stay tuned. It's gonna get even crazier, but hopefully you're picking up some tips.
tips that you're not just getting motivated, you're learning it and then you're gonna live it. If it was relationships, go find them and then live those and it's gonna make you even better. Keep going, keep growing, and let's keep kicking ass. Stay with us, let's go. Gucci on site, yeah. Rollers on ice, yeah. Get first class flights, yeah. You ride it like a bike, yeah. All right, guys, you're the true one percenters. You made it to the end of the video. Let's go. Like, comment so we know who you are down below, and then share this video to somebody else who needs it. And also turn your notifications on because we got the fire coming every single day. Amazing. We'll see you at the next video. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.